Hello everybody, how are you doing? Prokernog3 here and we finally to the next part of the Sonic Generation speedrun tutorial. This time we're going to the Sky Sanctuary uh, level, stage, zone. Uh, but yeah, like uh, it's been a while, sorry about that once again, uh, you know, being quite busy. But let's dive right into it. Sky Sanctuary, uh, things start to become a little bit more... I, don't, I won't say difficult, but a little bit more complicated on a few things, like you need to remember a couple things more. But, like always, let's go through uh, classic and first, going through modern after, and we're gonna do a deep dive and start like, you know, little by little each section, seeing what you need to remember, what you need to do to go, you know, as fast as possible. So, let's start with Sky Sanctuary Classic. Alright, let's see if I, if I remember how to do this. Alright, not bad. Not a bad start. For the most part, Classic Sonic, it's all about uh, being able to do good spin dashes, good jumps and knowing the route. Uh, there isn't really too much into it compared to Modern Sonic, like, Modern Sonic has more out of bounds and more things to look out for. Classic Sonic has a couple of those, but not as much as Modern. And we should be for the ending. 102. Anything between 1 minute and 104, I'd like to say, it's pretty good. Obviously, under 1 minute, if you get it, you get pretty much like the perfect state. But that was Sky Sanctuary Classic. Uh, let's get right into it and do a small deep dive. So, the first thing you need to know about um, Classic Sanctuary is that. Right off the bat, you want to do a spin dash, and depending on what you get, you'll go a little bit faster, a little bit slower. For the most part, you want to jump after you grab those rings, obviously, because you might hit like these spikes over here. I didn't hit them the first time around, but this is one of the things you need to remember. Um, there is times where you hit the spikes and land pretty much, you know, either on the spikes or behind the spikes. If that happens, you have enough time to actually, you know, um, get up, get on the spikes and spin dash off the cloud over there and go in this route, right? This actually isn't the fastest way to do it, obviously, because you get, you know, hit by the spikes. So you lose a little bit of time, but it's still like, you know, pretty fast. You don't have to worry about it. Um, I wouldn't worry about like resetting over here. You pretty much, you know, you go from the cloud, you hit the the item boxes, and then you do like another spin dash. You hit again the the cloud, and you're pretty much uh, going to your next section, right? So that's one thing that might happen. And then like the other thing that might happen is the one that happened to my first run. See, like over here, right? Like I skipped the spikes because I did a really good jump. And on top of that, I hold the back button a little bit, uh, so I don't go like full forward. And if that happens, you land around here. So if you land here, you want to do another spin dash and jump over here so you can hit the cloud and go up. This is actually the fastest round. Uh, if you go like this and then you go over here and you go up, this is the fastest route, you gaining time pretty much. So that's, you know, the best case uh, scenario for you. You want to look for that, if you hit the spikes, don't worry about it. Even if you hit this, uh, you don't hit the spikes, but you land behind it, just jump over them and do a spin dash and, you know, go top route as uh, I saw the first time around. So, after that, all you have to do is, like, go up, do a full uh, charge spin dash, and, you know, it's one way route, you don't have to worry about anything, just do your jumps, again, spin dash, over here as well. Jump. A quick spin dash jump over here. Be careful uh, because 
if you hold it for too long, uh, you might not be able to get the jump there and you fall down. You don't want to fall too much down, you lose a little bit of time, but you need to do it like another, you know, cycle pretty much. After that, over here, uh, you do a little bit of skip, so you want to, you know, hold spin dash and you want to land around this part. So once you land over here, you turn around, uh, do a fully charged spin dash and jump and you land over here in this battening. Um, after that, you don't need to hit him uh, to uh, to continue. Just like turn around and you'll do another fully charged spin dash. Jump after you hit those uh, stairs and you want to land over here. Now, there is times where you will land on the battling. If that happens, try to recover and you know aim for this platform because if you don't, um, then you have to go all the way back to get up here. And this is like the fastest route pretty much. If you go down, you lose like a lot of time. So yeah, uh, try to land over here where the item boxes are. From here all you have to do is like another spin dash, jump and you'll go to the next section. Like that and you jump over here so you can land over here. This is like, you know, where you want to land. From here, another spin dash, you stop, another spin dash and a, a tap jump pretty much. I died over there, that's fine. You can worry about that later, but for the most part that won't happen to you. Like, you want to pretty much like do a top jump to go over this spring over here. So, if you do it properly, and while you do that you hold a little bit back, uh, Sonic will grab the pulley and get you to the next section immediately. So it should be like... Grab a ring. Should be like something like that. See? Like that, right? And we'll put you in here. And from the here you do another spin dash and you want to jump to get like the middle section uh, route. So you can get like the faster route pretty much, right? Again, spin dash over here, spin dash jump over here and hold a little bit back otherwise you might miss the spring there. And over here like spin dash jump again, be careful from the falling platforms because you know, they might get you. Uh, it happened to me before, so yeah. Uh, Look out for that. And that's classic uh, sanctuary, uh, sanctuary, sorry. Um, I think for the most part pretty straightforward. You need to remember a little bit of the spin dashes. I have the controller up for you guys to see, you know, like uh, what uh, buttons I was pressing. So you can replicate that if you want to. If you don't understand something more, obviously you can, you know, keep uh, ask a question in the comments. That's as well, you know, I can answer those. But that's classic. And now we're going to modern. Modern Sky Sanctuary is probably the stage that you need to manage your boost meter the most. Um, but let's uh, check it out and we'll do a deep dive again. Alright, 130. Sorry, I didn't say anything. Um, I was full concentrated on mode over there. But 
But that was a uh, modern sky sanctuary as you saw like a lot of the times my boost was running low and i would gain some rings here and there and i would go up again or i would do the tricks but let's get right into it right right off the start you want to boost and once you start boosting like go to the left you're gonna hit that bad uh, that enemy over here boost boost and go to the next uh, platform Right. Uh, there is an, some other ways to do that. I do that one. Uh, that's what I feel comfortable with, um, and that's what I'm, you know, pretty much showing. There are some people who will jump on the platform on their left and uh, get uh, their hide from that, and other people will just like uh, boost through the enemy after the they hit like the right one, if I remember correctly. But I do the, you know, jump left uh, enemy boost jump boost go to the next platform right uh from here on out uh, you want to obviously hit the jump pad over here and you want to do as many tricks as possible you need to gain as much boost meter as you can so i think it's like around four i did and the finisher one two three four finisher yep and from here you obviously want to get the top route and you're gonna boost here like I did earlier and get the the rings, the hoops over there. Go through that. And over here, what I did was I boosted on this platform, I jumped off this platform and I did and I went on all the way to the other platform. I skipped like one uh, platform in the middle, right? Um, this jump is very, very difficult and sometimes you might think you got it, but you won't reach. It's actually quite difficult and if you don't reach and you hit over here, you fall to your death. So take care of that. If you don't want to do it, let me show you another way. So like I said, boost, left, jump on the enemy, boost, boost, do as many tricks. If you don't want to do that, you can jump over here and do it like this, you know. If you want to take like a little bit slower out, but be safe about it, because if you die, you lose a lot of time, right? Another way to do it is like, again, boost, enemy, boost, boost, as many tricks as possible. Oops, my bad, <laughs> a little bit. There you go, boost, boost, as many as you can, boost over here. You can do like a boost to the middle uh, platform and then jump over and continue your way, right? There's this uh, option as well if you feel like it. So yeah, uh, the really really fast option where you boost off the platform, jump and boost again. But there is a chance that you might hit the wall over here and, and go to your death. Or you can get like, you know, the after you land on the platform, get the other platform and then jump and move on, right? So from here on you want to boost again get as many tricks as you can to gain boost and then go to the right side here there is another way to go faster i did like the a little bit slower version but more comfortable i i homing attack the enemy and i boost and i stomp on this uh, platform over here there there is a way for you to boost through the enemy and land over here and jump immediately to the cloud over there but there is a way that you might miss it it's and you you know obviously use more boost as well so you know you're gonna have to manage your boost even better in the next section right for now i will show you like the option where you don't really lose that much time like maybe a second or two around there but yeah you stomp you gonna hit like the cloud over here and from here you want to boost to the jump pad right so like that again do as many rings as possible and from here you want to boost here jump to avoid like the stairs and you want to hit like with your boost like you want to go towards that way to hit the rail and once you hit the rail you want to align yourself like you know align yourself you want to wait until you reach around here if you keep holding to the right or keep pressing to the right you should be able to change rails to the other um uh, hallway pretty much so then you can go faster uh, faster down downside right so to demonstrate you go over here and like that and you will switch rails then all you have to do is like go into 2d 
like I showed you in the previous uh, stages, you hold down the slide button to go faster from 3D into 2D and you're gonna want to like time a jump there so you can hit like the teleporter to go up. From there you jump and move on forward like that. Get the top ring, get some boost. You can do homing attacks here instead of like, you know, jumping off the enemy. That one is better to actually aim for him and hold like top up, upwards, top up, like you no, know, um, top up, I said, <laughs> top, top right, top right. Uh, so you can like see the homing attack like flashing and you can homing attack immediately to the rail so you can go to the next section, right? From here on out, obviously you stomp and you boost towards the pulley, you jump, go to the right one. You boost all the way, do an air boost so you don't fall to your death, and you go into the next section. Right, so over here earlier, what I showed is like the first 3D into 2D. You pretty much have 3D physics in a 2D environment, right? This is the easiest 3D into 2D that you will ever do in your life. You like all you have to do is do a simple jump as you're going towards the 2D section, right? Let me let me show you. So from here on out, like once you start like going to the next section, you want to jump here. See, like that that hop that I did, not a full jump, just a hop. You know, with doing that, I'm 3D into 2D now. Like I skip the trigger where the game puts you in 2D, and I keep my 3D physics. So be careful of that. Don't touch any movement control. Just hold the boost and pretty much and go to the next section. Sorry about that, I had a small hiccup there, but what I was saying is that you do a hop and you land 3D into 2D, pretty much the easiest one ever. So right now I should have like 3D physics, so if I continue, I'll be in 3D and I need to be careful not to fall off, right? So moving forward, see like, I'm in 3D while in the 2D section, but you need to be careful don't uh, you know if you play with analog you need to be careful not to hold too much up or down if you're playing with a d-pad like me it should be a little bit easier in these sections with d-pad so all you want to do is like land on this platform hit the d-pad there hit the the cloud and then you want to boost in this section you can do it a little bit slower you know if you are scared of like boosting over here but what you want to do is pretty much boost here and the moment you see sonic being here like stomp to stop yourself right and with that you can go around from behind hit the platform here uh, the switch I'm sorry and jump and move on to the next section and from here on out it's pretty much like you know go all the way to the finish oh be careful over here about the falling platforms you know but yeah this, that's about it drift your way up and hit the goal ring and that's modern sky sanctuary um I hope that was uh, helpful to you. I hope uh, you know be able to get like a better time now in Sky Sanctuary. Um, if this video helped you, feel free you know to comment any questions you might have. Leave a like, hit that subscribe bell button, and all that kind of stuff. You know, like would help out, and more people will learn about like generations and whatever other videos I upload. It might be in this. But <clears throat> yeah, that's it for Sky Sanctuary. I hope this was helpful. Uh, to you and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Take care. Bye-bye